Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, it's Kayla here, and I am just, like always, on route somewhere. Uh, so today is January 17th. Um, it has been, just for whatever sake, um, my commitment to, my verbal commitment to veganism, to the community around me, my the physical people in my world, um, I started talking about that. So uh, for those of you that have been watching my channel for a while, I have been pretty committed for a while, but my last video explained some things that happened over Christmas. So anyway, um, I'm considering January 1st of this year a fresh start. And so it's been, I guess, two and a half weeks of really putting a lot of effort into staying away from the fats. Um, eating a minimum of 20, 2,100 calories a day. I've had quite a few 3,000 calories days. Um, I had the question recently on maybe my last video or maybe a couple videos before that. Um, someone who maybe is unfamiliar with the high carb vegan lifestyle, but I had the question, do you really need to eat that many calories? Um, so for those of you that may have ended up on my channel and you aren't familiar and you want a little explanation, here's my perspective. Now there's lots of stuff out there you can read, but my perspective is that there is a baseline that your human body requires in order to perform all of its functions for optimal life. If you are not providing that absolute baseline, like if you're sitting on your ass all day doing nothing, you need this baseline amount of calories. And if you are not providing this to your body, if you are running at a deficit, it's not like when you put gas in your car and you run out and your car just stops working. Your body is a little bit more intelligent like than that, which for some people maybe would be better if we just stopped working like a car when it ran out of gas or oil or whatever. But anyway, if you're running at a deficit, the body chooses, okay, what do I really need for survival? And what are things that I'd like to get done, but I don't have enough energy because this body needs to survive. So you are running in this like survival flight or flight mode. You are running under a lot of stress. You're creating stress, more stress in your life than you need. Um, we live in enough stress. If you were watching the internet, you were living in a um, in a developed area, and we we have so much stress: environmental stress, stress from our food, stress from our families, stress from work. So much stress, and then by not bringing enough calories in, you're stressing your body even more. It has to choose. Okay, um, what do I need to do to survive? Um, what are the things that, even though I'd like to get them done, I'm going to have to put them aside because I just literally do not have enough energy to get those things done. You know what I mean? So that's where that baseline comes in and that's where people like Freely and Durham Rider and, and all the people that have really experienced some fantastic success on this lifestyle, Pal Simeons and a um, whole bunch of people. So. This is where that baseline comes in. This is why we want to eat lots of food. Um, so for me right now, I've got my fast food on the go, banana phone. <laughs> so I've been working my way through bananas. I tore them all apart just easier while I am on my way from one job to another today. Um, have food around all the time. Um, I, okay, I'm, I'm digressing. Let's get back to the calorie thing, yes baseline you need a baseline um, there's lots of people out there that have talked about the I think it's either the World Health Organization or something out there um, remind me whoever knows this remind me who it is there's some big worldwide thing out there that if you are getting I think it's less than as a female something like 1800 calories a day um, as a society if that's not available to every human you are basically in a famine but then there's like all these girls in the, and even guys in the Western world that are choosing to eat less food than that. Um, 
Now, I'm not going, I'm not saying go and eat a bag of potato chips. That's kind of what got me into a lot of the mess that I've been in the past. But the best foods for you are so cheap. Bananas, potatoes, rice. There is your, you do that as the base of your breakfast, lunch, dinner. Have bananas for breakfast, potatoes for lunch, rice for dinner. Add some other stuff to that. So cheap. I'm, I think I'm going to, this is me running off again, but I think I'm going to explore, maybe in the next couple months, I think I'll do an experiment for like a week to see how cheap I can make this diet. And I'll like break down like my quantities and how much I spend. And I'm in Canada, so we're getting a lot of food from the States right now. So prices on some things have gone up. A lot of stuff is grown in California, even the stuff that we eat. So it'd be interesting to do, even with our dollar going way down. Okay, calories, back to that baseline. Baseline sitting on your ass doing nothing. You have a baseline you require. Um, I'm, I'm loosely doing Freely's um, Banana Girl Cleanse right now, but she kind of like lowered, I'm interested in why she lowered. She usually recommends a minimum of 2,500 and, and in the book she's saying 2,100 and maybe, um, Maybe this is to make it more accessible for, for people and 2100 is easier to hit than like 2800 or 3000. So I get that. I think that's cool. Have that as your absolute baseline minimum. Um, but then you're doing activity and you're moving and you're talking and you're digesting and you're doing all of these things that also require energy from your body. So yes. I do require as many calories as I eat. And the more calories that you bring in, the more whole food, healthy, fulfilling, nutrient dense calories that you bring into your body in a high carbohydrate, low fat form makes it easier for your cells to actually bring the glucose in to use as energy because sugar, is what your body uses easiest as energy. It's the easiest thing, it's the thing that your body craves. Starches or carbs of any sort, fruit sugar, all that stuff, that is the easy stuff for your body to get in and use and burn up and, and do the function. So, okay, you're doing all of these other things throughout the day, you need to bring more calories in because if you're, say you get your baseline in for what your body needs for all of its metabolic processes, but then you're doing, going for a, I don't know, a 10 minute walk, or you have an intense conversation where your heart rate goes up and you're burning all this extra fuel. Um, you need to prepare for this. And so you need to bring in even more. Otherwise your body burns up that energy because you're forcing it to burn up that energy on stress and whatever. And then these metabolic processes and taking care of like your body wants to take out the garbage, but it's like this needs to be taken care of first and I don't have enough energy to do that. So, you know, you need to give your body something to work with. Don't let the ca gas tank go to empty and force your body to shut down different systems. Okay. Anyway, that is my rant about calorie intake. And yes, you need to eat a lot as my head slides to the side of the screen. You guys can see that Canada is actually snowy right now. You can see the snow outside. Um, if you have any questions, please post them down below. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And you have not subscribed already, subscribe as well. I will talk to you guys very soon. Peace out.